Hello guys and welcome back to the Zane Investing. Today, official short interest in AMC is exploding ahead of the company's after-hours results release. And to put this into perspective, the January and June rallies of 2021 did not have this level of short interest. Consider what could occur this time around. Folks, we're going to discuss my projections based on earnings and after-hours trading, as well as breaking news regarding a cooperation between AMC and Walmart for, you guessed it, popcorn. And I believe, on a fundamental level, this may attract more investors to AMC. In addition, we will examine the FTC and technicals in this video to ensure that everyone is on the same page on the present state of the figures. Thus, if this sounds like something you want to be a part of, stay tuned. We are going to cover everything. Plus much more if you have not already done so, click the like button and then subscribe to the channel. And we are currently engaged in transactions depending on earnings. There are some interesting events occurring in that community. If you want to be a part of it, where you will have access to all my trades in real time, you can ask me questions and we can talk via the link provided in the video's description. Notwithstanding this, AMC stock fell approximately 5.5%. Today's markets are extremely unstable and volatile. According to AMC results, there is a great deal of fluctuation. I believe this is very typical. The day began with a continuation of yesterday's surge, but it soon began to deteriorate. This is actually a great development for AMC earnings. In my opinion, a stock is experiencing a slight discount when it experiences a price decline. In my perspective, it is preferable for the stock to be down 6 or 10% prior to a crucial earnings report than to be up 6 or 10%, as the market may have already priced in the good news. Oh, maybe so. Today, you are pricing in a bit more pessimism, which could result in an even greater positive surprise. And I do believe, based on what I am now observing, that AMC will experience a rally for the remainder of this week if earnings are in line with expectations. Right? 8 times out of 10. ANC has outperformed on the top and bottom lines for every single earnings report, and I do not expect this quarter to be any different. I believe that AMC will take full advantage of market tailwinds or favorable breezes that are assisting the theater business. For example, in 2023, there will be 35% more films in theaters than in 2022. I believe you will eventually receive sound direction. And this is what the markets are concerned with right now. Even beyond the actual numbers, they care nothing about this. It is all about direction. So the most important aspect of guidance that the markets will care about and what will move AMC stock for the remainder of this week is where they view EBITDA. Are they likely to be optimistic? Will they have a positive free cash flow or a net profit? This is essential, but they do not need it immediately as they have for the past three months. Individuals will not truly care if they lose money. Again, we anticipate this. Yet throughout 2023, if Adam Aaron predicts that we will have a rougher first quarter followed by rock-solid second, third, and fourth quarters, we will generate a substantial amount of free cash flow. This would cause AMC stock to rise exponentially, up to 100% by the end of the week, and 100% from here. It is difficult to tell if the items I just discussed are actually stated on earnings statements. On the other hand, based on common sense and daily monitoring of this stock, as well as the theater sector as a whole, we will have mostly positive things to say. Well. Catch this, the official short interest report for the 15th of February was recently released on Settlement Day. So not all too long ago, the free flow short interest rate was 25.5%. This is the official report, and it's likely that the options are concealing a substantial amount of additional short interest. I believe this reaffirms what I've been saying, namely that short interest is significantly higher and that the options likely conceal a substantial amount of additional short interest. Now let's discuss some of these other figures that we've observed, notably the June 2021 rise that occurred immediately before the short interest free float reached 24.5% on May 28. You are now at 25.5%. Thus, you are now at a higher level of short interest on this graph. Then you returned here, when AMNC stock exploded in value. I believe this places us in an excellent position to see a short squeeze. In addition, the rally yesterday was triggered by the fact that a judge issued an injunction 
and scheduled a preliminary hearing for April 27 regarding the March 14 vote. Now, AMC is permitted to proceed with the vote, but this places it in an odd position. If the court determines that the event should not have occurred, right. If the courts proceed with these procedures, the business will be put in a very precarious position. Right. On April 27, if they have already conducted the vote on March 14, and it has already passed, this might be a major issue for AMC if it has already been approved. Hence, it is likely to be delayed. And this was seen in yesterday's price movement of AMC, which increased by approximately 23%. And I believe you will get more clarification on this during the earnings call and earnings report that we receive here today and after hours. This is another factor that might make the markets or AMC positive. Moreover, it was also revealed today that AMC and Walmart have a popcorn partnership. Now, I want to be really transparent with you because I'm aware that some people don't care about basics, but I want to explain in a minute or two why things like this are important since, as previously stated, there are some individuals who don't care about fundamentals. They believe that none of this matters, despite the fact that there are numerous types of investors. Hence, this may not matter to certain individuals, but it does to others, like myself. I like to be more defensive, combative. Hence, I will not play a significant position in a short squeeze trade or any other trade, including a swing trade, right? Purchase and hold for a number of days, weeks, or months. If the company is about to declare bankruptcy, I will not do that. I have not played Bed Bath & Beyond BB for this reason. Why? Due to the fact that they will fail despite having recently raised this capital, I am now more ready to wager on them. There was never a safety net. Your safety net was the stock will reach zero. Now, based on this moving average alone, I will not modify my opinion on positive earnings or earnings reaction, should I say. Nonetheless, if you can maintain this level until the end of regular trading, it will be crucial. The 200-day moving average might potentially set us up for an even stronger rally. This is crucial information for algorithmic trading algorithms. If you look at the RSI, it is 67.85, which is closer to the overbought level, although it is not highly overbought, and it might go much higher before all is said and done. Examining the MACD in relation to prior rallies, we have witnessed reveals that the current rally is quite weak. Right. Bring this down. Look at this middle line exactly where my cursor is positioned. This is about neutral level. You have an optimistic outlook for June. You are optimistic in September. You are extremely bullish in comparison to where we were in April and August of 2022. The MACD is quite bullish once more. On the MACD, you have not even begun to appear bullish. This indicates to me that this upward movement could have a lot of room to run, guys. This concludes the content of this video. Please leave any final thoughts, questions, or concerns in the space below. I look forward to seeing you in the future video.